In this video, I'm going to walk you through a CFA level one exam style question on applying the capital asset pricing model formula so as to um, figure out whether a stock is undervalued, overvalued, or maybe correctly priced. If this is something you want to get right in the exam, I suggest you keep watching and let's get solving. So this is the question which I want us to have a go at. An analyst gathers the following information about a stock and the market portfolio. We've got a current stock price, the stock price expected in one year's time, the dividend which is expected in one year's time, and also information about the risk-free rate of return, that's the one-year T-bill rate, the treasury bill rate, uh, of 2.6 expected return on the market portfolio, as well as the stock's beta. And then we're, we're supposed to just simply state whether the stock is correctly uh, priced or maybe under or over valued. Right, so this is where you get to use the capital asset pricing model uh, so as to figure out the required return on a stock given its risk characteristics, especially given its beta, its uh, exposure to the sensitivity to market risk factors, and you're supposed to compare that to the expected return. So let me start by figuring out what the expected return uh, is on the stock. The expected return, um, given the data we've got, is, well, the stock is expected to be priced at a level of 22 in one year's time. It's supposed to give us a dividend of 0 0.3. And right now, it is worth just 20. That's the current stock price. So I've basically created an expression which yields a result of 2.3, which is the overall profit we're going to get from this stock. And I'm going to divide this by the current price of 20 so as to turn it into a, you know, a, a true yield or return measure. So what I've got at the top here is 2.3. I'm dividing this by 20. And I can see that this stock is expected to yield a return of 1.5%. So that's the expected sort of holding period return. The holding period is one year here. And I'm going to compare this with the uh, return required. Let me change pens. Return required under CAPM. And obviously under the capital asset pricing model, which takes into account the level of systematic risk exposure that this stock generates. And that's going to be the required return it's equal to RF, the risk-free rate of return, plus beta times the level of return expected from the market portfolio minus RF. Let's plug the numbers in from this uh, from this question. So we've got the T-bill rate 2.6% as our risk-free stock beta uh, 2.64 times the expected return on the market portfolio. That's 6.8% minus RF again, so that's 2.6 again. Obviously, this is known as the, just in case, the market risk premium, which is a term you should also know because it may be given to you just like that. So um, let me do what's in the bracket, 6.8 minus 2.6, that's 4.2, multiply that by 2.64 and add 2.6. Okay, I am looking at a result of roughly 13.69%. Now, this is easy to compute. Um, what you now have to do is compare these two and come to the correct conclusion. Obviously, the rate of return required by the CAPM model is definitely higher because it's 13.69% than this holding period return or expected holding period return, which was just 11.5. And what does this tell you? Well, this stock, unfortunately, will not generate a yield and, you know, in accordance with our forecast or expectations, which is enough to compensate us for the risk that it exposes us to. Why is it not going to generate a yield that's enough? Because its price is currently too high. So the 
conclusion from this is that current price is too high. If it was lower right now, if we could buy this stock for less than 20, maybe the yield we would expect to generate from it would be higher and commensurate with the level of risk um, which it exposes us to. That's not the case. So if you see this relationship, holding period of turn or expected return, given the data that you're going to be given in the question, is lower than what the CAPM, CAPM model says is required, the conclusion is the current price is simply too high, making the yield too low. So, um, answer C. This stock is most likely overvalued.